Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe leave a comment that says thanks. Really helps out the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that'll take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a tablet by a company called Doogie, and this is the T30 Pro model. So this is the box it comes in once you order it. Then once you open it up, you are of course going to get a user manual that tells you all the specs. We're gonna cover a lot of those details right now. You will get a, a little pin here that will open up the micro SD card slot slash SIM card slot if you want to utilize those. You will get a charging brick and a USB type C to C cable to charge up the tablet itself. Then you are going to get the tablet. And so here it is. This is an 11 inch tablet. And one of the things that I like about this is it comes with this nice protective case already. You don't need to worry about buying that. Uh, it comes in a lot of different colors. Uh, on the back side, you can see it has a massive camera there. So to give you an idea of the camera, it is a 20 megapixel back camera. And then on the front, it does have a little pinhole camera there, which is an eight megapixel camera. So now this tablet is really built for gaming or watching movies. Um, that is one of the nice things about it. So if you're going on an airplane trip or something, you can queue up your favorite streaming program, or if you have other movies, um, like on a thumb drive or something like that, you can utilize it for that. But let's go ahead and cover the specs. So first off, it is a Android 13 tablet. Um, it is running an octa-core with Hilo G99 chip, uh, which is going to be great for gaming. It's got to have that quick response time if you are into a lot of games. Uh, it's got 15 gigabits of RAM. Now, out of that RAM, 8 gigabits is uh, physical RAM, and then it has an additional 7 gigabits of virtual RAM, which you can activate that in the settings. So if you want a full 15 gigabits, if you are playing a more intense game, you can tap into that virtual RAM to give it a little boost, which is a nice feature with this tablet. Uh, it has built into it a 256 gigabits of storage or memory. Uh, however, if you do use that micro SD card, you can boost this thing up to two terabytes worth of storage. As for the screen, it is 11 inches and it is 2,560 by 1,600 uh, HD screen. So it is basically a little bit above uh, 1080p, uh, basically like 2K, if you will, but not quite 4K. As far as the battery, it has a 8,580 mAh battery. Uh, when I utilize this with battery life, I get several hours out of it. Battery life is going to drastically change depending on how bright you have your screen set up and what you are doing. If you are doing a, let's say, a lot of kind of web surfing or social media apps, you're going to easily get all day battery charge out of this. But if you're playing like more battery intense games, like let's say Pokemon Go or something like that, those will drain your battery a lot faster. But overall, I would say plan on getting a full days out of this charge for this tablet, um, depending on what you are utilizing it for. Now, the tablet does have a two, uh, I guess it's pronounced Tuvo, uh, T-U-V blue light built into it. So that's going to help you when it comes to your uh, rhythms at night, your sleeping rhythms. Uh, it does have a split screen. So for productivity, you can run two apps on each side of the screen if you wish. Uh, as far as sound, the sound is great because it has four speakers, two at the top, two at the bottom. So you do get that immersive sound, especially when you're watching a movie or playing some nice games. Um, overall, it does also work with a stylus. So if you do want to use a stylus on that, this tablet, you can do that. It does not include a stylus, however, so keep that in mind. But overall, on the tablets itself, so you can see on the one side here, you have the two speakers. On the other side, you're going to have the two holes for the speakers. In the center there is where you will plug it in to charge it. And then it also has a headphone jack if you want to plug in some wired headphones. Um, on the top, you're going to have the power button to turn it on and then the volume buttons or the control buttons. 
And then on the bottom, it does have some pins there. So if you do have a um, external keyboard or something like that, that works with those, you can pop this in and kind of use it as a kind of a PC if you want. I don't have that, so I haven't been able to test that out. So if you are in the market for a great budget-friendly tablet, uh, that is able to play those video games and stream those videos or movies, I think this one is totally a great solution and worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And that is it until the next video. You guys, take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.